Where we go and we're going to Idaho and I forgot to do a video when we were still at home. I was gonna ask you where we're going. I'm happy to do it. Yes guys, it is time for our annual Idaho trip. It's kinda I mean it's it's good, but it's kinda a bummer with Poppy not being with us this time. So yeah, she passed at the beginning of June. Yeah. For two weeks. About two weeks before we can go to Idaho, so it's kinda rough, but we're still going. We are still going. And it's gonna be a lot of fun and She's we're with us in spirit. Yeah. We're hoping to visit my grandma. I think she's uh, staying in Sandpoint, my dad said. Yeah, so, that's what I heard. Yeah. Bit of a drive, but Sandpoint's a nice little city. I mean, I'll give you guys a little tour of it. Um, what do we do for breakfast? We went to Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. I ordered a large hash brown on top of the already hash browns because I thought it was like the hash browns at like Taco Bell, where you got like a square at McDonald's. No, it's like a Burger King hash brown. It's hash browns. So we got a huge amount of hash browns. I doubt we'll eat them all, but you know, it's all good. I'm hoping that uh, Mr. Dude over here will set me up with my burrito. Yeah, I will after we're done recording this. Yeah. I just had to finish mine so I could have hold of her while she's driving. Because she is a driver yeah, here. I'm the driver. Go ahead, black car. We're arguing past my bitch. Get to it. A bunch of impatient people. Guys, I'm going slightly probably. over. Yeah, I'm going 70. Which is slightly over the speed limit. That's just not fast Here enough. Here they go. Bye, douchebag. Yep, there he goes. So. Anyway, so we went to Carl's Jr. We got breakfast burritos. Yeah, yeah not bad. And not as bites. good as Don Pedro, obviously. But still a pretty good breakfast burrito. I had a country burrito, and she had a loaded burrito, and then hash browns. Start a new job. I did. I started a new job. Um, I actually haven't yet got training in my actual department. Um, because the way that they do it is uh, every Wednesday is what's called onboarding, um, which is essentially like your orientation thing. You're going through your paperwork, all sorts of stuff like that. And uh, then they have a new policy that started since Nate got there because Nate didn't have to do it where every employee that comes in has to do a couple nights of janitorial training so I did two nights of janitorial training so I was there 4 to 9.30 the last two nights and background okay, th there's literally nowhere for me to go if this guy is here and this guy is here I'm going to get over, sir. Ah, it's really nice. I was like, this guy decides, I'm going to pass on the passenger side. That's not safe, guys. And then this guy flies up my butt. Wow. Yeah, he's going 80, probably easily. Yeah, because I'm going 70. He's going at least 80 to 85. Hope they get pulled over and get a ticket. I hope so, too. He flew up on my bumper, but there was nowhere for me to go because the other car... Also, was over here trying to, you know, wanting to pass me on the passenger side. Don't do that, guys. It's not safe. I pass on the passenger side if it's, uh, it sounds like super slow and get over. I mean, but if you don't have to, it's not a good idea to, you know? Like, well, that's cool. The trees and the mist. I don't feel that's going to come in, but I think it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool to us guys, so. Oh, the guns are there for you guys. Alright, back to recording that. Yeah, so. Yeah, um, anyway, so I did janitorial training, and actually I just went way down for this guy. Okay, come on. <clears throat> get with it or get out of the way. People are fun, guys. 
go too slow or too fast. There's no happy medium. Well, it's lame when they come in on the fast lane, you know. And don't speed up. And don't speed up. And, you know, at this point, I may have to pass in the passenger lane. Yep. Well, maybe he's picking up speed now, so. Oh, my gosh. Um, but I got a progress report last night, guys, at my new job. Um, and the way that it is, is there's a whole bunch of categories, and there's three different columns that you can fall into with those. Um, you can exceed expectations, you can meet expectations, or you can need improvement. Um, all but one of my um, marks were in meets expectations. And I had the one mark that was not there was um, needing improvement, and it was just because I needed to go back over and clean stuff again. I didn't get it completely done the first time. So if you get COVID, blame Kelly. No. <laughs> it, was, it was things like smudges on the mirrors. Uh. Um, which, on those big bathroom mirrors, are hard to see sometimes. But the, uh, the, the guy doing my progress report said that they generally, they usually don't see um, people who only have like one mark in needs improvement. It's usually, you know, a pretty even spread across across the two. There's one dude got exceeds expectations on everything. <laughs> who did? There's one dude who got exceeds expectations on everything. Oh, wow. Good okay. job. Alright guys, we'll give you more information on that. Um, I think when we're in Idaho, we're going to shoot a Life update vlog, so we'll talk about everything that's going on. We yeah. mentioned a few things, but there's still a lot more going on. So, yeah, check that out. <clears throat> it'll probably be after this one, or it might be right before I know, but either way, it'll be linked in the description if it's already out. Yeah. Alright, guys, we will catch up with you in a little bit. To Bye. Idaho! To Idaho we go! Woohoo! What did we just have to do? You need a bathroom stop. Are you taking some pictures? Yeah, it's kind of cool there. I never actually pay attention to it here, but... But yeah, there's all these pictures about Oregon and all that stuff. Oh no, this is, this is what we're going through right now, right? Yeah, yeah. Different back then, but... Yeah. A real one? Nah. Was it a real one? I said a different one. I yeah, know. and I said, is it a real one? <laughs> A real it one. Was, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Never had to do this before. So we have this one picture in here. I might have to zoom in a little bit to see him, but. How has the drive been so far? Huh? Pretty quiet. A bunch of stupid drivers, but it's not out of the ordinary. Saw somebody who uh, didn't know how to keep their vehicle in their lane. I think this trip. It's just cooler. Like, you know, weather-wise? Like, compared to last year, I thought it was a lot hotter trip. Yeah. And, I mean, I think we left around the same time. Maybe we left a few days later or something, but... It might have been another week later or something like that, but... Yeah, it's a nice day for travel. Yeah. It's a very popular, um... Rest area that we're at right now. Mm -hmm. A ton of people. I'm gonna walk around. Take some pictures. Yeah. A little more about Oregon history. Cool, cool. You know a lot about Oregon history. Not really. I know a lot about history, but not Oregon history. You ready to get back on oh, the road? Cool. Or? Oh, no, I did not. Many Oregon trips. So there was more than one? Oh, yeah. Oh. Pretty cool. Yeah. Is the blue one like water or something? Yeah, it's a clever river. Okay. Yeah. Kind of cool. <laughs> okay, look. Trap ale. Mm -hmm. Alright, I think we're going to get back on the road guys and yeah. catch up with you later. Oh yeah. Oh boy, we got just a little bit of stress. Just a, just a little bit. Just just a little bit. Just a little bit, yeah. yeah. Um, I thought um, Kelly's car had more range than it does. So her gas light came on. We were 50 miles outside of the place we used to fill up. And I looked up a GPS Kia's 
You didn't GPS, you Googled it. Yeah, I Googled it. And it said the average range is 43 miles. So, yeah. Fortunately, there was another gas station, though it would be a well, little more expensive. The weird thing is, guys, is I've looked up this before, and I swear it was closer to 50 or 60 miles on empty. Come on, dude. You've gotten all your gas. Let's get out of the way. I need gas. Yeah. So, yeah, almost ran out of gas, but fortunately, we were going to swing by. I don't know if you want to fill it up or just put it in a little bit to get us to Ridgeville. What but do you think? I think it's going to be a similar price to Ridgeville, so... All right, guys. We'll make sure Kelly's filled up before we leave to go to Idaho again, for sure. She almost had a full tank, but apparently it wasn't enough. Because here we are putting gas in a vehicle. But fortunately, there's a gas station here, so... Yep. Whew. Well, guys. I decided to go and get some snacks. And usually we spend about 10, 15 bucks maybe on snacks. But this gas station is in the middle of nowhere. And we spent over $30 on snacks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Got some cool stuff. Like cookies and cream Twix. And we got dark mint chip chat. Chip, yeah, chip, dark chip, mint. Chip, <laughs> Kit Kats. Dark mint Kit Kats. And we got some Sour Patch of Sloters. Yeah. And we got a type of Pringles really like. It's What is that called? Uh, I think it's Parmesan roasted garlic. Yeah, I think we had them last time we were in here. Well, they used to sell them back in town too, mm -hmm. but couldn't find them anymore yeah so we got some of those that's where it's like two for 350 for a 20 ounce can of soda and i think since we got two different ones we were charged like two bucks for each little 20 ounce thing of soda what else did we get oh we got the pizzeria style gardettos mm -hmm. and which i had I never got, seen before and i got some sweet and savory hershey's pop snack mix stuff but yeah, it was, and water. it was interesting. The the person who ran the store, he's probably the owner, had a little girl in there, and I guess she was maybe watching or whatnot, but she was pretty entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Kept on uh, getting hit by the red beam from the scanner. She's like, ow, my eye. <laughs> Seemed like a pretty sweet kid, so yeah. yeah. That was our adventure, and where the hell are we? I don't even know. A little tiny. 40 miles outside of Ritzville. Yeah, off, off Fox or something like that. I don't remember the exact name of this place, but... Yeah, very oh. interesting. <laughs> yeah. So, off we go on the road again. Yeah, we'll probably drive all the way to Idaho now because yep. we're full up on gas. How much was gas? It was three sixty-five a gallon. Yeah, three sixty-five. So it was like forty-two bucks. It felt the same, but I'm actually pay a little extra and have peace of mind because I was losing my peace of mind. Yeah. So, <laughs> but we got gas. Yep. It was yeah. fun. The store was fun. The bathrooms are kind of gnarly, but you know, whatever. Yeah. A little creepy. But... People are nice, so. Yeah. yeah. So. We're going to get on the road again. All right, we'll talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. Bye. Pilot. Idaho. Hey. Hey. What do we have? We got Rogers. It's a place I've only seen in Idaho. Found it a few years back. It was super good. Now it's one of our traditional places we eat at every single time we come here. But, Yeah. Look Usually like we get shakes with our food. But Triple look. cheeseburger right there. Yeah, there is. There and is they three are good eating. Guys, yeah, it's kind of hard to see. One, two, three. <laughs> yep. And then you've got a Diet Coke and some fries. Yeah, fries are pretty good. Burgers are really, really good. I have a double cheeseburger. And I also have fries. Ooh, ooh. So. We know this is going to be good. Yeah. All right. So, shall we get to eating? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Let's go. Who's winning? Me, I think. Are you sure it's not me? Yep, pretty sure. <laughs> Duck Brothers draws hearts on mine, so it's cool. All right, Tiffany. <laughs> what are we doing right now? Um, we are bowling and drinking pink Starburst and Apple Crown and Sprite. <laughs> How is that? It's good. That reminds me of uh, some moonshine I had a long time ago. Um, the Apple Crown and Sprites are good. Us ladies have pink drinks. Pink drinks. Pinkity drinkity. Oh yes, <laughs> like the pinky drinky drinky please. <laughs>
I think for now. Are you sure? Barely. Barely. <laughs> I think it's me. I think he's wrong. I think I'm Technically winning. speaking, you are because you're at the 11. We play opposite rules and I'm okay with this. Just saying. Just saying. Makes us feel better. <laughs> but I'm losing. Badly. You're losing horribly. I haven't, I haven't even hit 20, so you know. Kick back and enjoy the first few of our photos on our way to Idaho. Music provided by Royalty Free Music. button click on the bell to be notified when I release new content hit the thumbs up if you like us and questions and comments are welcome right down below feedback always welcome we love hearing from you guys what you think what you like what you don't like all that awesome we post every smash the bell Tuesday like? smash the like button hit the bell yeah we post every Tuesday Thursday Saturday and end of the month Tuesday is a vlog on the Salyers of course Thursday and Saturday are video game videos over on Umbra, Umbra Shadow, Shadow Gaming. Gaming. And end of the month is our taste test. This month it is Hungry, which we haven't started yet, and we really need to get on that. I don't think it's Hungry. Turkey. It's, it's turkey. turkey. So, yeah, we brought it with us to Idaho, so we'll get working on that. Mm -hmm. I'm currently sitting on a swing in the, our house, and it's a little bit crazy. Kind of cool. Swing in yeah. the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Oops. Gotta readjust. Mm. Do, you Do you hear that? that? Adventure, Adventure is calling. calling. Bye, Bye, guys. guys. Hey. Hey. Where Going are we? On? We are at Post Falls Community Forest Park. A whole bunch of trails up through here. And, uh, what are we going to do? Ha, 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 ha.